Okay, Kingsman, The Golden Circle. This, of course, is the sequel of the first Kingsman film. Now, this one, of course, deals with the statesmen. That's because this, the Kingsmen get attacked, leads their forces in a great disarray, so, of course, they then find out about the statesmen. So you now get to see the American version. And ironically, they have names like Whiskey and Tequila. So we go from like, Knights of the Round to alcohol. With a similar sort of setup. You've got the brains of the operation, the person wearing glasses. They have their own styles of glasses. So pieces of technology. I will say, Whiskey, who has multiple styles of lassos, he has one that's an energized lasso that allows him to cut through things. It's pretty wicked. I liked the first one, because the first one was a teenage James Bond sort of character with super over-the-top violence, and it's had a really cool feel to it. This one is kind of the same thing. The Golden Circle, which you find out is kind of a massive drug cartel. Not really a spoiler, because when they first show them, you're like, oh, this is a bizarrely idealized like 1950s America town in the middle of the jungle. And headed by Julianne Moore's character, who is played very much like a tongue in cheek, over the top villain. With the right initiation to become part of the Golden Circle and what her massive, massive plan is for effectively not quite world domination, but a way to make herself one of the richest people ever. Ironically, it's uh, emblematic of a Spider-Man Sinister Six storyline. If you get the correlation, don't put it in the, the comments of Ruin it or anything, or anybody. What it's really missing, though, is in the first one, Colin Firth had that, that fight sequence where it is ridiculously early time. This one, they've got a fight sequence in a bar, which is kind of close, and they have the ending fight sequence, which involves an umbrella and a suit and a, like a, a briefcase, which is very over the top. I liked it not as much as the first one. I thought they did some good some good moments. And at almost two and a half hours, it flowed really well. Make sure you watch the first one because they do constant callbacks to the first one. And I will say the the inclusion of Elton John. It's like a sprinkling of Elton John to it. Is just fantastic. I really like this one. Not as much as the first one, the first part because they had you know, it's more of the setting up this group and this one, the Kingsmen are still pretty much the majority of it, the Statesmen. It felt like they had lots they could have done with them, but they didn't to make some more of a, of a Kingsman story. But all in my like the first one, this one is is very much a worthy sequel. 